Watch this video and learn how to use movies or TV series to improve your English. Check out the three tips I'm going to share in this lesson. If you don't know me very well, hello, I'm Teacher Pricks, and I'm going to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, yes, because every week I post different kinds of English lessons to help you become a better and more confident English speaker, so consider subscribing or smash that like button if you have already subscribed. Now, guys, movies. I know that for most students watching this video, your ultimate goal is to achieve English fluency. And to make that happen, you need listening comprehension. And understanding movies is a pleasant activity, is something nice, exciting, that I imagine many of you would like to do. Understanding movies more smoothly more easily. And the tips I'm going to share with you in this lesson will help you with that, especially at, at a, at a pre-intermediate and intermediate level, because this is the level I focus on. If I were to make a video like this for beginners, I would focus on completely different strategies. But at a pre-intermediate and intermediate level, if you don't have a good listening practice, if you don't have a good listening routine, you will probably keep understanding teachers like myself but not native speakers. And an efficient practice is necessary, especially if you want to understand movies, TV shows, podcasts, documentaries, you know, audio files in general, because the tips that I'm gonna share here with you to watch movies can be used to, to work on different kinds of audio sources, podcasts, uh, you know, uh, interviews, Hollywood interviews. So make sure to, ta uh, to pay attention and take notes, okay? This is something that I, that I do with my BSA in my academy, you know, in my online program. I'm always bringing different activities to work with my students, with my BSA. So I know how important it is to use movies, to understand movies. So the first thing you need to understand before I share uh, the tip number one is, do you need to use a complete episode of a TV show or a complete movie, a full movie, to study, ah, to implement the strategies, the tips that I'm going to share here to help you improve your English? No. And the reason is you need to understand the difference between entertainment and study time. And when we're thinking about entertainment, of course, you're going to, you know, open your stream services, HBO, Prime, uh, Netflix, uh, or just a random streaming service online, and you want to watch a movie and you want to have a good time. But that is entertainment. That is the moment to chill, relax, have a good time. So that is not what I'm going to talk about here. Okay? So when you have those moments, Use the subtitles, put them in English if possible, okay? But don't be so hard on yourself during that time because that's a relaxing moment. That is not a study time. What I want to get your attention to is that if you want to improve your English by using movies, you will need to think of study time. And to do that, you don't need to use a complete movie, a complete TV show, because it'll be very time consuming. So a movie study routine should be a complement, something additional, something extra you do, because there will be, there should be other listening exercises that you do on a regular basis or on a weekly basis. So using a movie, unless you are crazy about movies, okay? Unless you absolutely love movies, it's, you know, your dream goal is to understand all kinds of movies, okay? If I'm not talking to that kind of person, then using a movie should be a compliment, a good one, but not your main focus, okay? So remember that even when working on a movie or TV show, you will need to follow an integrated practice. And that's why this can be very time consuming. And using a complete movie will be extremely difficult, especially if you're not a teacher. Because just turning on the movie, you know, starting the movie, that's not an exercise. That's just entertainment. Entertainment. That's just relaxing. That's just every day, uh, an everyday activity, you know, something you do for fun. So studying. Okay, so if you don't have much time, it's wiser to use it as a compliment every couple of weeks. So depending on the recommendations you follow that I'm going to share here in this video, 
you can study a movie, a movie part every two weeks every couple of weeks or you, every week, depending on how much time you have. We're going to get into this detail very soon, okay? Now, as I said, my tip number one is pick scenes, not full movies, okay? Because I'm going to share my tip number three, I think, or tip number two, I'm not sure, will be a sequence of what you need to do because you can't just turn on, start a movie and just watch. That's not going to help you improve your English. And many people oftentimes come here and they do not understand what I'm trying to teach. Oh, but I watch movies and I'm improving. Oh, of course you will improve, but you need a routine. You need a sequence. I don't want it to waste time. I use movies. I've been using movies for almost two decades, okay? Almost, not two decades yet. I think it's 16, 17 years. <laughs> So I know that you need a strategy, otherwise you will be lost, you will be confused, and this confusion will become, will turn into frustration. And if you feel frustrated, you will drop it. You will stop studying. And I don't want that for you, okay? So I want you to pick scenes, short movie clips, scenes, up to 10 minutes, okay? Teacher, can it be 15 minutes? Yes, a little long, but it's possible, okay? 10 minutes, up to 10 minutes. You can use a two-minute video from a movie, a, a two-minute scene. You can, you can pick a five-minute scene from a movie, no problems. Up to 10 minutes, because you will see that I, I share a sequence. You will need to repeat this a few times. So the longer the audio file is, the more time it'll re, it, it will require and don't forget that I'm going to recommend different activities. So my goal here is not to make you just watch the movie. Okay, that's entertainment. My goal is to help you improve your English. That's always my ultimate goal. Okay, so I need to be honest with you. Peak scenes, not full movies, not complete TV show episodes. Okay, uh, but teacher, what if I want to work on a complete movie? Break it down. Okay, for the next four weeks, a month, watch the first 10 minutes, the, the, for the first week, the first 20, 30 minutes, then the next week, the next 30 minutes, divide and conquer. That's better, okay? Now, six step, that's tip number two, six step process, okay? Number one, you're going to pick a scene and I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? With the internet nowadays, it's wonderful because you can find everything you're looking for in terms of information. You can find a movie online. You can find a short scene online very easily, okay? But knowing how to use it, that's where it gets difficult to do. Following guidelines, exercises, you know, the step-by-step -step process, that is more difficult. So I would take notes if I were you. Step one, you're going to turn off the subtitles. So that means every time you sit down to watch a movie, you're going to pick a short scene. That's tip number one, a short scene up to 10 minutes. No longer than that. And you will turn off the subtitles. It's a listening exercise. Turn off the subtitles. Watch it twice. Okay, so that's why it has to be short. It's going to be a long practice. Okay, 10 minutes will become one hour if you follow my recommendations. Okay, so I know what I'm saying. That's why I'm recommending you do this every couple of weeks, every 15 days or once a week because it will consume your time. I myself do this every two weeks, okay? Sometimes once a week because it consumes my time. So I love it and it's wonderful, but I need to be wise with my time. I don't have as much time, okay? And while you're watching the scene, you're gonna take notes. Integration, you need to integrate different skills and writing is a wonderful skill for you to include in this practice, even though it is a listening practice, okay? Watch it twice, take notes. Then you're going to go to step number two, you're gonna activate the subtitles, you're going to watch it twice more, take additional notes. Now you will be looking at things, the conversation phrases, you know, the phrases the speakers spoke, take more notes. That's why it has to be short. So let's say you picked a five minute scene so five, 10, that's 20 minutes already. And while you're watching, don't pause. Mm -mm. Play, take notes, take notes, don't pause. Then activate subtitles, watch, watch, watch. Very well, awesome. 
Step number three, write a description of the scene. It's written exercise, okay? You're working on comprehension, fantastic. But now you're gonna write, oh, there's a little bug here. Now you're going to write a description of what you saw, what you understood. And in addition to this practice, oh, come on, little bug. In addition to this practice, you can write your opinion about the scene. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? What do you think of the conversation? This is something interesting to include, okay? Step four, let's add speaking. Record yourself describing the scene. This is mandatory, guys. Every time I use a movie or a TV show, I always include this step. I talk about it. I describe it. In this scene, Spider-Man is talking to his girlfriend and they're having a fight because she wants to go with him, but he wants to go alone because the mission is too dangerous, yada, yada, yada. So I describe it orally. And when you're doing this, this is not a reading exercise. So you should not read your notes. You should speak. Okay. It will be difficult, but that's why you're doing this because you want to improve your English. This video is about improving your English, not only improving your listening, okay? Step five, time to go back and look at the subtitles and check the words you don't know. We got to work on vocabulary. This is an integrated practice, okay? So you're going to look up the words you don't know, check the definitions in English, and if possible, create examples, at least one, with some of the words, not all of them, okay? And even in this in this practice, if there are too many words you don't know, you don't need to spend time checking all the words you don't know, okay? That's it. You don't need to do that all the time with all the words. Pick some of them because, guys, one thing that you need to, to accept is that in movies, in TV shows, in documentaries, there will always be a word you don't know, even at my level, okay? that are always words we may not know. So it's a battle, it's a war, we cannot win, okay? So we need to be careful about the way we handle this situation. So in this 10-minute scene you picked, or 5-minute scene, pick the words you don't know, pick some of them, and study them, and then pick like 3, 5 words and create examples. That's mastery. Mastery is not about learning everything at once. I'm going to master this movie 100%. I will learn everything. That's not how fluency goes, okay? Fluency requires variety. It requires patience. It requires strategy, okay? Live to fight another day. Step number six, practice shadowing. That's why the movie scene has to be short, okay? So let's say that in this five-minute five scene, there is a moment where there are two characters talking. You can pick a short moment in that short scene, maybe a two-minute part, and you can practice shadowing. What is shadowing? It's to imitate the speaker. So they speak something, you repeat it aloud, trying to follow the same speed, and the same intonation. It's not easy, but with time, you get more comfortable with this practice. So I would recommend you do that, okay? So you pick a short scene, the same scene, actually, and in that scene, you're gonna pick some moments where you would like to practice shadowing with. This is gold. This is a complete integrated practice with a movie to improve your listening comprehension and your English in general, because this is not just about listening anymore. It's about improving your English so that you can feel more confident and finally talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Okay. Now guys, this is something that I do with my BSA. They have listening challenges, documentaries, TV series, workshops, movie workshops. And these extra activities, because we have the platform, we have the modules, the lessons they have to study every week. And in those lessons, they have listening exercises. In addition to this, to complement their experience, once a month we have workshop, twice a month we have group conversation classes. And in these live experiences with my students, I sometimes bring a movie. I sometimes bring a TV show episode. I sometimes bring a song activity. Why? To bring the variety they need, to implement this step, and to help them include a different practice 
in their journey so that they can master their English and feel more confident, okay? Make sure to subscribe to the channel. That really helps, okay? More than 50% of people who watch my lessons, like my videos, are not subscribed. And if you're interested, I have an amazing study plan cycle that will show you how to organize your English study routine, especially if you study alone, okay? Check the link in the descriptions. Now, guys, how to find scenes. My tip number three is to use YouTube, okay? It's a very easy to find movie scenes. Maybe you don't have a streaming service. Maybe you cannot afford Netflix. Maybe you cannot afford HBO. Maybe you cannot afford uh, uh, Prime, okay? Disney, there are so many nowadays. Use YouTube, it's free, okay? So you go to YouTube, as you can see here on the screen, you will type the name of the movie or the name of the TV show because you can use the same strategy with any TV show or any movie. Pick the one you like the most, okay? Remember, have fun on the journey to fluency. That's very important. You're gonna type the, the name of the movie, the symbol plus, okay, plus the symbol, not the word, the, the written, okay, of the, the written way, the way to write plus, but the symbol plus. And then if it's a movie, you're going to write movie clips. And if it's a show, a TV show, short clips, okay? If you type movie clips for the TV show, you still get results, okay? But I recommend if it's a movie, you write movie clips, the name of the movie plus movie clips, or, and if you forget the symbol plus, it's fine, okay? I didn't put the symbol plus, but if you, if you remember, awesome. If you don't, YouTube is pretty smart, okay? It's the best, Google is the best search engine in the world, at least until now, okay? If it's a TV show, same thing, and then pick the one you want. As you can see here on the screen, maybe you cannot read it, but the scenes are short, okay? Two minutes, two minutes, 40 seconds, one minute, 50, 56 seconds, two minutes, 55 seconds. This is wonderful. It will allow you to repeat more times, okay? Teacher, can I repeat it in more times? To study, yes, because the goal here is to improve your English in general. If we're talking about comprehension only, then I would reduce the number of times you repeat depending on the sequence you follow, okay? So there are different strategies, guys. I, I'm here to talk about strategies to improve your English in general. And in this case, the number of times you repeat is really personal. You can repeat more times. Just keep in mind that time is of the essence. How much time do you have available, okay? And that is my, my next point. How often should you do this? Teacher, how often should I do this practice? It all comes down to how much time you have, okay? And how long the movie scene is, okay? And how it's connected to your study routine. Guys, the key to English fluency is having a good plan and doing the work of the plan, okay? The plan only works if you do the work. So that's very important. I tell this to, I tell my students in my academy that people who get my study plan cycle, things only work if you do the work. So if, if working is a complement, if you're using this, this sequence as a way to complement your experience, then we need to think of how long the scene is. If it's a three minute scene or a five minute scene, then you can do it once a week if you have time. Okay, if you study, three, four times a week. But if it's a longer one, then every 15 days, pick the scene you wanna study, maybe it's a 10 minute scene and, and work on it, okay? So it all comes down to how much time you have available, how much you like using movies and TV shows. Not everybody likes movies and TV shows. It, it happens, okay? And uh, this is something you need to, to keep in mind. And you can include different kinds of shows because sometimes people think of oh, TV shows. They just think of those movies uh, like TV series, Grey's Anatomy, Supernatural. But you can pick those, um, um, how am I gonna put this? Those different kinds of genres. They're almost like shows, but um, property brothers. You know, they talk about a house renovation, you know, construction. If you like it, I love it, Property Brothers, okay? I love them. I watch them every week. I learn a lot of vocabulary with them. But I know not everybody likes that kind of show. So maybe you like shows about gardening. Maybe you like shows about selling houses, 
okay? Not, not decorating renovation, but selling houses, real estate. No problems, okay? So you need to find the kind of show you enjoy because at the end of the day, guys, this journey will get really hard if you don't have a good time, okay? Of course, we need to be responsible. We need to be disciplined. It's not always fun. Taking notes, recording yourself, repeating, but it's not always fun. But when you pick a movie you enjoy, when you pick a TV show you really like, then it gets lighter, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Make sure to get my city plan cycle. Share this video with a friend if you enjoyed it. But other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye!